I don't go back to my ship till Monday. So? So I thought it might be nice to spend some more time with Frankie. Did you know? I read this script and I completely connected with, with that character. But interestingly enough, when I first read the script, I was very busy at the time. I read seven pages and, you know, I, I watched a little boy who I found out was deaf going down to buy cigarettes and there was a whole scene with him buying cigarettes. I thought, well, what is this? And I threw it away and it turns out my friend, Des Hamilton, was casting it. He called me back up and he says, do me a favour, just read the rest of the script. I got sent the script, which I loved, and um, I just was immediately drawn to this very simple tale. You got sucked in and got, and got carried away in a story which was just a really beautifully crafted, poignant story. One more day, that's all. No, 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 I want you to go now. It's over, do you hear me? It's over. My ship sails on Monday. There is only one more day. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> Who gave you the right to come in here and behave like this? You did. The template is a kind of a, a, a typical romantic comedy in a way, you know, where we start off incredibly suspicious of each other and end up uh, kind of in love. Um, only the circumstances are totally different from that of a romantic comedy. A lot is left unexplained and there's humanity in every character, you know, it's very, it's not formulaic in that way, you know, and, and it has a really nice mix of what is typical of a British film, but yet it doesn't drag you down. From his mother and I lie to him every single day. No, you protect him every single day. Dear Frankie.